All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I would like to give all praise and glory unto Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Chakurash, the one that's our elders and apostles of great meals and that do it well, and citations of blessings to our that's pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. All right, today I would like to get into this quick lesson. I'm going to title it, A Rich Man is Only Worried About His Riches. All right, and it's just something that was on my spirit, you know, that's something that, that the Lord just gave me, man, you know, a thought. That hey, these is really it's really that that's the way that these these people think out here in this world, all right. That they're only worried about their riches, all right. The little the little shit that they got, man, all right. Whether it be, you know, a, a nice car, all right, uh, drug money, all right, whatever whatever it may be, you know. But this is the only thing that these people are worried about, man. All right, chasing the bag, getting money, all right, being successful inside of this life. All right, when hey, this world is gonna be destroyed. And the Lord is gonna is and the Lord is gonna require your life from you, man. All right, and because of all of your sins and all of your wickedness, all right? Because that's that's what it's like. That's what chasing after these riches and chasing after this world produces. Because this is nothing but a wicked and evil world, man. So if you're chasing after this world, you're trying to get rich in this world. Hey, the Lord is eventually gonna call your number, right? And you will be destroyed, man. So any further ado, I'm gonna jump into it. And I don't want to make this too long, man. But this is Luke 12 and 16. It says, and he made, uh, no, I'm starting 15. It says, and he said unto them, take heed and beware of covetousness for a man's life consisted not, uh, yeah, consisted not in the abundance of the things which he possessed. All right. Cause they, the only thing that's going to prolong our lives and give and get us everlasting life is serving and calling on the name of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. All right. Not having riches and, and having, you know, a covetous heart. All right. Being covetous. Is sin, all right? It's, 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 it's wickedness, man. All right, one is what someone else has, man. You know, a seeking after another man's, you know, riches and all these things. That the, that's what this world is all about. All right, that's what social media pr promotes. All right, pushes a, a covetous lifestyle. All right, you see something that a famous person got, or you may see something that, you know, the next nigga, the next nigga got, man, and now you want it. All right, you want to be like him. You want to chase after his riches, man. You know, that's what this world. Uh, promotes and pushes but this is uh verse 16 it says and he spake a parable unto them saying the ground of a certain man of a certain rich man brought forth plentiful and he thought within himself saying what shall i do because i have no room where to bestow my fruits and he said this will i do i will pull down my barns and build greater and there will i bestow all my fruits and my goods and that's how these people think all right, hey, they, they're, they're, hey, damn, okay, well, I just got this, you know, I just got this amount of money where I'm, I'm finna go build this up, all right, I'm finna go uh, make this greater, man, you know, and instead of trying to uh, serve the Lord, all right, seek out the Yahweh Shemal Shai and, and do what's right, man, these people only want to do uh, what was better for them, you know, trying to make their lives better, in this world, man, this, this world that's about to be destroyed. It says, um, verse 19, and I will say to my soul, so thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. All right. And that's how these people move. You know, hey, hey, hey. and they got that. Um, let me just grab it right quick. That Matthew 24. And the Lord's going to destroy them, man. This is Matthew 24 and verse um, 37. It says, but as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. And what were they doing in, in the days of Noah? For, in the day, for as in the days that were before the flood, they were eating and drinking, marrying and giving in, in marriage until the day that Noah entered into the ark. And that's what these niggas are doing in, in these days, man. All right, eating, drinking, all right, going to the house of feasting, living it up, all right, only worried about all right, their flesh and, and, and things that they have inside this world. You know, they ain't thinking about Yahweh about Shai. They're thinking about their wives. They're thinking about, you know, the 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 promotion they the the promotion that they get that they just got it at their jobs and all this shit, man. You know, they ain't thinking about the Lord at all. All right, their minds are solely sold on Babylon the Great, man. It says and knew not until the flood came and took them all away. So so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. So, hey, the coming of our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai, in these times right, that we're living in, because our Lord is, is about to come very soon, man. All right, very, very soon. But it's going to be the, be the same way as it was in the time of Noah. All right, these people eating, drinking, living it up, having a good time. 
And hey, they didn't know until that flood came. They didn't believe until all hell broke loose. And that's what it's gonna be in these times as well. All right, these people are not gonna are not gonna believe and and see what we're talking about until all hell breaks loose and this is gonna take them away. Then it's gonna be too late for you to try to seek the truth and and, and try to seek answers. We gotta get this right now, man. Why why your Habba Shemal Shai may be found and not being inside this spirit. Luke twelve and um Luke 12 and 19 says, And I will say to my soul, Soul, thou hast much goods laid up for many years. Take thine ease, eat, drink, and be merry. But Yahweh said unto him, Thou fool, this night thy soul shall be required of thee. Then whose shall dealt, so like it says, Then whose shall those things be which thou hast provided? So is he that laid up treasures for himself and is not rich. Toward Yahweh, all right. We're supposed to be rich towards towards Yahweh by Shema Al Shai, all right. Not rich towards ourselves, all right. Not laying up treasures for ourselves, man, all right. Because your life can be taken away from you at any point in time, all right. Your riches can be taken away from you at any point in time, man. Yeah, this is um Proverbs twenty three. Four, it says, "Labor not to be rich; cease from thine own wisdom. Wilt thou set thine eyes upon that which is not?" For riches, for riches certainly make themselves wings. They fly as an eagle toward heaven, right? You're not going to always be up, man. You know, as niggas like to say, I'm up. No, you're not going to always be up. You're not going to always have money and, and, and be rich, man. Hey, sometimes hey, the Lord is going to take that away. I right? ain't have you and have you at a, at a, you know, a low base level, man. You know, and hey, that's what riches, that's what riches do. They fly away. They're not going to stay here forever, man. You know? And your money is not going to stay with you forever. The things that you have inside this world is not going to stay with you forever, man. Eventually, it's going to be taken away from you. All hell is about to break loose. The Lord is about to turn the tides on this place. All right, all these people that got money, well, your money is going to be turned into fucking dust, man. It's going to be turned into nothing, all right? It's going to be totally worthless unless you go and get that, that MOTB, all right, that injectable device where, you, where you're not going to be able to buy or sell without it, man. You know, you're going to have to uh, align to Esau Edom's system. And hey, with that man, this is is gonna it's gonna be a, a you know a, um, a big problem behind that as well, all right? Because they ultimately the Lord is gonna destroy you, all right? If you take that MOTB, you're gonna be burned with with ICBM nuclear missile fire, you know. Horrible judgments are coming to this place, man. The best thing for you to do is serve the Lord, you know. Serve the Lord and and, and stop chasing after this world and chasing after riches, man. This is um Matthew 6 and 19. It says, Lay not up for yourselves treasures upon earth where moth and rust doth corrupt, and where thieves break through and steal. Because they all the things here inside this life, they can be taken away from us. They can be they can be destroyed, man. Ultimately, they, they're eventually gonna canker. Alright, you can have a, a nice ass car, man. Alright, no matter how much maintenance you put into that car, no matter how well you drive that car, eventually it's going to break down and decay, man. Right, it's of this reality. It's of this world. Everything of this world and this reality, it, it doesn't last, man. It's not eternal. All right, the things that we don't see are eternal. All right, hey, the heaven, the heavenly things are eternal. This life is not eternal, man. It says, but lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where neither moth nor rust doth corrupt. Right, it's it's eternal, man. It's everlasting. It says, and where thieves do not break through nor steal. And, hey, these things cannot be stolen from you, man. They cannot be taken from you. All right? Hey, things inside this life can be taken from you. This is a wicked, evil-ass world, man. Hey, 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 this place is full of covetousness, man. This place is, is, is based off of, uh, hey, this is a covetous society, you know? Hey, man, hey, your nigga, see, see what you got, and now he want it, man. Now he coming to take your shit from you. You know, you ain't got to worry about that in the, in the heavens, man. You ain't got to worry about that in the kingdom. You know, that's what we're seeking after. That's where our treasures are at. It says, for, for where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So, hey, this is where the, the hearts of these people are, are, are upon, man. All right? They're, 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 their minds are upon their treasures. All right? A, a rich man is only worried about his riches. They ain't worried about the, the, the Lord, man. They ain't worried about the word. They ain't worried about his prophets. They ain't worried about getting right, man. Only thing that they worried about is serving their flesh. Doing what's best for them. This is uh John 3 and 19. It says this is a condemnation that light is coming to the world, 
and men love darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. For every one that doeth evil hated the light, neither come into the light, lest his deeds should be reproved. And our people do not want to be set in order. They do not want to be told to do the correct thing, man. They, they, the only thing that they want to do is what they want to do, you know? Hey, if they, if they want to eat the pork, the shrimp, the lobster, and the crab, hey, that's what they're going to do, man. And they're going to hey, they're gonna hey, raise their middle finger at you, all right, and tell you, hey, what, what, why, why does it matter to you, you know? Why does it matter to you, man? Hey, I'm doing what I want to do. Do what you want to do. That's the mindset of these people, man. They don't want to, they don't want to serve your Habash Shema Shah. They want to serve their own hearts, man. They want to serve their riches. They want to serve Esau, Edom, you know? And that's why they're ultimately going to be destroyed by the Lord, man. Zay, let me hit this. Proverbs 13 and 13. It says, whoso, yeah, whoso despises the word shall be destroyed, but he that feared the commandment shall be rewarded. So, hey, if you despise the words of Yahweh Bashim al Shai, right, you, despise, you despise reproof, all right, correction from the Lord, hey, you're going to be destroyed by him, man. But, hey, those that serve Yahweh Bashim al Shai and keeping his word to the best of their ability, fearing the Lord, hey, they're going to be rewarded. All right, they're going to get. A heavenly things that, that 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 we can't even fathom on this side, man. All right, I I and ear, I have not seen nor heard, you know, a what the Lord has prepared for them that wait for Him. So as long as we continue to wait for the Lord and endure, all right, all this all this chastisement that Yahweh Hashem Shai has for us, and hey, we're gonna get the kingdom, we're gonna get everlasting things, man. But as for these people, and hey, you're gonna get destroyed, all right. And your riches are gonna go right along with you, man. So hey, I praise the Lord was was edifying. I would like to give all praise on and glory. Unto Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rukhakurash, the wonders our elders and apostles of great meals and I do it well. The citations of blessings to Akin that's pushing his word with truth, sincerity, and charity. Shalom and a Baba Ball.